try to go as forward with this as I can, sticking to the LS3. Maybe every once in a while I might slip back to do a touch comparison with the older stuff. I'm going to really try to stay focused on this. It's just that it's really hard to when you see all the great things that they do. But anyway, let's go forward. All right, now we're here at the LS3. Now, I'm going to try to answer several of the questions that I've had people ask me. I'm like I said, we're going to do a bunch of new things, beginning with my website. You're fixing to see a lot of updates to that, which is going to be current projects, more detailed stuff relating to the, the videos, which is what I'm getting a request on. It's just I'm one person, and, and here soon, I'll when I get caught up, I'll have time to really go into it and better explain for you DIY guys, because y'all are the real reason I do this anyway. But anyhow... The first thing you have to do, like old style, what you would do is you'd take your gasket, put in your gasket or your bolt plugs. If you don't have the great Brzezinski plate set up or something similar, which you use dial pins to lock the plate into position so that you can take this print off of the head and put it onto the manifold, okay? Well, uh, I don't have that. I wish I had a lathe because what I would do is I would go in here, uh, all right, I would go in here, make me a threaded dial pin that fit in there so that I could lay some type of gasket or something on there, that, a plate that would lock in place to take it from the head to there. But the questions I get is, especially on this, how can I port that head? How do I know how much material to grind out of it? when the uh, manifold uses uh, a rubber o-ring. Now, I have got the stock manifold here, the one that came on the Corvette. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it to the side to give you a little bit of a view here of what exactly that I'm talking about. Okay. Now, let me back up a little bit. If you've got an O-ring and that O-ring fits right here, then why would you need a gasket? Because the O-ring is going to give you a better seal. No doubt. Most people would think, well, you don't use a gasket. Well, apparently the people at Felpro thought that you needed a gasket or they wouldn't have made the damn thing. Okay, so anyway, what this does is this is going to line up right here. Now, see, if I had the dial pins, I could really get a good lock, but I have ways of, uh, I have different little screws and things that I can line it up and get a good alignment. Now, see what that's going to do is that's going to give me an area to scribe the maximum width and I have got black material inside the blue so that then I can take this and put it up here and slide it see how the dowel pins are now what that's going to do is that's going to let me get an idea of alignment of how far I can cut this intake alright now I want to make sure that you're following what I'm saying here very carefully O-ring, no gasket required. This is true. But without some kind of instant center or point of reference, how am I going to know how much to cut? I got to know from the deck surface to the top to that bolt hole spread here, here, and here where to cut this material at. Okay? The only way you can do that is with a gasket, which thank God Felpro made one, but they just didn't make one. They made one bigger to about the maximum width. And they give you some room to trim if you want to make it a little bit bigger, which I'm going to manipulate that some to lay up on the manifold because this is already at the very edge, unlike the older small block heads, which the push rod bulge was an inch in and then it, it was like a flare no sir the tightest point is right at the very edge so if I can take that 
from 1.340 and go to, hell man, even 1380, that's 20,000 aside, then take that measurement off of here, put it up on here like that, and give me a scribe angle, then I'm gonna be able to really open that up. Well, guess what, boys and girls? You're not gonna get much out of this because what's gonna happen with the stock manifold, unfortunately, if you try to do that, uh, I wish I could get a light up here for you to see, but I really can't, is it is so close to being where you'd have to take the wall out and it would not have any material for the ring to lay up on. Now, my first thought on this would be, okay, I'm more interested in port shape, so if I had to, I'd go ahead and cut the port shape out, forget the damn O-ring, and use this gasket, which I pretty much am guessing that that's why Felpro made this, is for people who want to get the maximum power out of this head, the professional head porters can use this do away with the O-ring and just use this on there to hold it in place because you're not going to vacuum leak. Yeah, that's a good design, but when you're trying to get maximum airflow or maximum shape, that could be a problem. So, in comes this great manifold. We take the stock one away. Let's get rid of it. 